so in today's session we are discussing about catalog items today's session we are discussing about catalog items so to create a catalog item we have to navigate to maintain items so in the maintain item see guys catalog items table name is sc underscore cat underscore item catalog items table name is sc underscore cat underscore item okay so in the catalog items i am creating a new catalog item that is actually re resignation form in this catalog item i have actually created these variables okay i have created these variables these variables are nothing but fields on the table these variables are nothing but fields on the table we call it as variables on the catalog items okay after that if you open if you open any variable here if you open any variable here you can see variable properties here you can see variable properties here so if you want to make a variable mandatory you can check this checkbox if you want to make a variable non mandatory uh, um, sorry if you want to make a variable read only you will check this checkbox hidden means guys hidden what is the uh, purpose of this hidden is that it will be there on the form this variable will be there on the form but it won't be visible to you this variable will be there on the form but it won't be visible to you if you check this check box it will be there on the form but it, it won't be visible to you that is actually the purpose of hidden okay well we have this is variable label variable name in the scripting we have to use variable name for scripting purpose as i told you already we use names for scripting okay so we use name this variable name for scripting purpose well annotation if you want to add some help text okay if you want to add some help text you can write that help text here okay let me just open this one so here i am writing in this for this variable i am writing some help text show help always expanded okay please enter emails comma separated example odai kishore www.gmail.com mahesh at the rate gmail.com okay help text i am actually adding if you want to show the help text on the variable you can use this annotation go to the type specification so variable width by default it is showing 50% of the variable width okay 
so if you want to show it as 100% you can select this one 100% okay fine so validation regular expression validation regular expression so now what am i doing is for email validation we have written on change line script you remember that for this particular personal emails validation we have written on change line script do you remember that guys so this on change line script we wrote okay so here this this for this one you must write on change line script for validation okay you must write on change client script for validation that is okay okay so if there is only one email address let us say here you are entering list of email addresses that is okay so here if you are entering only one email address so you need only one email address okay so here instead of personal emails if you used you, you used a personal email only one email address you want so you no need to write on change client script you can use validation regular expression email so that what happens you don't need to write on change client script it will check if the email that you entered is in the email format or not okay this this will actually this is the regular this will have this will contain regular expression guys this will contain regular expression so whatever the email that you entered that will compare with this particular regular expression if it is in the email format it will accept it if it is not there in the email format it will not accept see we as we are entering multiple email addresses this regular expression will not check for multiple emails this regular expression will check for only one email address you understand regular expression here we are selecting right this will check for only one email address this will check for only one email address okay so as we are actually allowing them to enter multiple email address as we are allowing them to enter multiple email address so this won't work so then we have to go for on change client script only we have variable attributes here guys variable attributes so variable attributes means like you have dictionary attributes we have variable attributes here like like you have dictionary attributes we have variable attributes here you can just go through this variable attribute so variable attributes are used to change the variable's default behavior okay if you want to change the variable's default behavior you can use variable attributes
as this is a single line text this is for reference field and requested for requested for field as it is a single line text personal email this is a single line text right uh, so maximum length max underscore length max length max length is equal to 200 characters so in the single line text it will only allow you to select it, uh, it will only allow you to enter 200 characters so i have changed the variable uh, attribute here okay default value as soon as you open the as soon as you open the uh, catalog form uh, if you want to populate default values you will use default value so auto complete checkbox i will tell you in a moment okay so permission if you want to restrict variables permission so guys there is no acl concept here okay there is no acl concept here you can see create roles who can create uh, to the variable if user doesn't have role mention, the variables will be read only before submission. Okay. User who can create values to this variable, if user doesn't have the role mention, the variable will be read only before submission. Okay. Read role. User who can see this variable, if user doesn't have role mention, variable won't be shown to the user it won't be visible to the user right role user who can edit the variable if user doesn't have the role mentioned the variable will be read only in the variable editor variable editor in the sense guys uh, i'll show you i'll show you so we have a read role a write role and create role okay so finally uh, let me create one role here And demo admin role. For personal email address, I am giving demo admin role. For current logged in user doesn't have demo admin role. Okay, so, so I have given this particular role here. Current logged in user doesn't have this particular role. <clears throat> Current logged in user doesn't have this particular role. So what happens when I open the, what happens when I open the, the log form? request something resignation form personal emails field is read only okay it is not read only yeah? it is still editable
personal emails field should become read only because current logged in user doesn't have this particular demo admin role right demo admin role so if the user doesn't have the role mentioned the variable will be read only before submission the variable will be read only before submission it should be read only as the current login user doesn't have permission okay i am giving that role to here it should be read only it should not be visible actually here because we have restricted the read permission right we'll do one thing we'll restrict it to admin we'll log in as another user and check okay let me do one thing let me keep it as it is uh, we'll log in as another employee double tutor i'm logging in as i'm trying to open this one the per personal emails field should be read only yeah now it is read only because of the admin role now it is working fine now it is working fine if you say if you see here personal emails field create roles permission i granted only for demo admin role as the current logged in user doesn't have you see uh, if the user doesn't have the role mentioned the variable will be read only before submission okay now what am i doing is i am just ending the impersonation here okay so i am granting the create permission okay i am restricting the read permission read permission means what happens you user can see this variable if user doesn't have the role mentioned the variable won't be shown on won't be shown to the user 
so the, it won't be visible for him okay let me impersonate as able tutor the field itself is not visible okay the field itself is not visible the variable itself is not visible now i am restricting it to right permission right permission means guys here you have to understand this thoroughly okay if user doesn't have the role mentioned the variable will it be variable will be read only on the variable editor where is variable editor actually where is variable editor actually okay so let me impersonate as able jotter again so user doesn't have edit permission so he he can edit here but it won't be editable in the variable editor what is variable editor and all i'll show you let me end the impersonation it is called variable editor guys it is called variable editor in this variable editor it will be read only for him for able tutor as i have logged in as an admin it is still edit editable for me but if i log in as able tutor it will be read only for him this is called variable editor guys this, this area is called variable editor what is it mentioned here <laughs> if user doesn't have the role mentioned the variable will be read only in the variable editor okay so here availability so availability we don't use it guys okay you can ignore this one well these are actually the variable properties uh, that we discussed okay variable properties we discussed okay yesterday i gave you one task how many of you completed the task so we created a variable set we added that variable set in the diff different catalog items we created a variable set we have actually added that variable set in the different catalog items we created a employee employee details variable set we added that employee details variable set in the three catalog items okay so what i told you as soon as you select the requested for requested for email location department should get automatically populated
you have completed that so what did you do dikshit i am unmuting everyone so how did you complete that yeah in a variable set i have created a catalog client script to the on change you created on change very good i have created one script to include for uh, getting uh, requested by details mm -hmm. and then i have created glide ajax in on change client script mm -hmm. and i have passed requested value there and uh, i have uh, comma separated that uh, result i have used the callback function okay very good so what if so here if you don't if you write the catalog client script at the variable set level it will work for all the um, so it it will work for all the catalog items okay if you don't write variables if you if you don't write catalog client script on the variable set level you have to write a you know separate client script for every catalog item did you understand that Hmm? If you write catalog client scripts at the variable set variables, it will work on all the catalog items. If you don't write catalog client script here, you have to write individual. You have to write individual catalog uh, client scripts for every catalog item. Okay, now you are able to understand how to achieve it using on change client script, right? Now I am not going to write on change client script to achieve the same requirement. to achieve the same requirement i am not going to use on change client script okay you people wrote on change client script right so without on change client script we can achieve it so open the email field open the location field open the department field where You go to the auto complete checkbox, auto complete section. Here you select a requested for. Okay, dot work, email, email you select here. Go to the location, go to auto complete, the requested for. okay so location is referencing which table cmn underscore location right location okay so now you go to the catalog item you can see requested for email location department is getting automatically populated i'm changing it to uh, abraham lincoln so abraham lincoln email no, abraham lincoln has no location no department so let me just select able tutor okay able tutor email able tutor location able tutor department is automatically populated okay i'm selecting ram one 
ఓకే రామోన్ మెయిల్ రామోన్ లొకేషన్ రామోన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఈజ్ ఆటోమేటిక్లీ పాపులేటెడ్ సో వితౌట్ యూజింగ్ ఆన్ చేంజ్ క్లైంట్ స్క్రిప్ట్ వీఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు అచీవ్ దిస్ ఉన్నాయి without on change client script i am able to achieve this one or not so what did i do i went to a variable set i went to a variable set in this variable set i have open email location department fields in the email field i have went to uh, i have gone to auto temp, auto populate and then where selected dependent question is uh, requested for and here i am actually dot working the path as email here also i have i have selected dependent uh, question as requested for and i have dot worked the location and here in the department field i have selected dependent question as requested for and dot work path i have selected as department so likewise we can actually auto populate without scripting okay you understand right so when you make the change remember uh, it is remember it is very important whenever you are making the changes on the variable set variable okay whenever you are making the changes on the variable set variable it will impact uh, it will impact multiple catalog items guys it will impact multiple catalog items because variable set can be used in different catalog items right so we should be very careful okay uh what i uh, this is ravi i joined a bit late uh, so today topic is also service catalog only right yes okay okay fine so so we understand about variable sets variable sets is a set of variables which can be reused okay variable sets is actually the variable sets we have single row variable set yesterday we created single row variable set and we have multi row variable set as well so what is multi row variable set okay i'll show you now what is multi row variable set okay you, you go to the variable sets we created the variable sets set yesterday employee uh, details variable set when we created the employee variable set this is actually a single row variable set now i am creating a multi row variable set you can see multi row variable set i am selecting so multi row means you can add multiple rows something like this one you can add multiple rows this one is a row this one is a row likewise you can add multiple rows okay user details i am keeping here is multi row variable set okay 
so here what am i doing is i'm just creating variables here location order new variable set here. that is actually user user details this is the multi row variable set that we created add this one here now you just open the form okay you can see the multi row variable set here so this is actually a multi row variable set so in this multi row variable set you can select requested for so when you select the requested for these these details will be automatically populated so i am able to add one row here i am adding actually second row here okay second row third row okay likewise we can add multiple rows here that is why it is called multi row variables 
this can be reused you know you can you can actually add multiple rows uh, uh, in the variable set uh, this variable set can be reused in different catalog items okay so we can actually limit the length of the uh, uh, multi row variable set let us say if you want to allow only five rows what you have to do is you have to go to variable set okay you have to go to variable set the variable set attributes you can mention here max underscore rows is equal to four max rows is equal to four Okay, so it will allow you only to enter only four rows. Yeah, if you have to uh, add multiple, um, if you have to add multiple details, okay. You have to write, uh, enter multiple details, then you will use multi row variable set. Only four rows we are able to add it here. After four rows, you are not able to add. So I, I am able to limit it using an attribute max rows is equal to four. Okay. So likewise, guys, we can use multi row variable sets if you want to enter multiple rows. Okay. Just a moment, guys. Yeah. Well, guys, um, uh, here in the multi row variable set, in the multi row variable set, I want second row, second row email address. I want, I want second row email address. Okay. I want second row email address. Second row email address means how, how do I get the second row email address? Well, remember this point. This is very important. Multi-row variable set. Whenever you get the field, multi-row variable set value. So like you get the field value, you will get the multi-row variable set value. Okay. Like you get the field value, you will get the multi row set variable value, multi, multi row variable set value using g underscore form dot get value and the multi row variable set name. Using this multi row variable set name, you will get the multi row variable set value. So, multi row variable set values, you will get it in array format, array of object. It will be something like this. Requested for colon the system ideas, comma email colon uday at the red mail dot com, comma. Location 
ama ama department ama another object Comma, another object. Comma. So multi row variable set values will get something like this one. Okay. Here, multi row variable set values, you will get something like this one. Every row you will get it in an object format. Every row you will get it in an object format. So second row email means sec second row email value means you will get this value. So here you see here you have total four four rows here, right? Four rows. Okay. So if every row is an object, total total this is an array. This is array. In this array, every row is an object. Every row is an object. Okay, here, first um, Adam system ID will be stored here. Adam system ID will be stored here. Alien system ID will be stored here. Alien system ID will be stored here. Tanaka. Tanaka system ID will be stored here. And able to drive system ID will be stored here. So likewise, every row is actually an object here. Okay. So total multi-row variable set is array. And every row is an object here. So I want the second row, second row email address. What I will do? I will take the array length. Where length is equal to ERR.length. For, I'm taking for loop here. Where i is equal to zero. I less than length. I plus plus. Okay. If. I equal to equal to one. One means second index. One means second row. Okay. One means second row. Okay. We'll take the. Uh... Okay. Well, gs dot print arr index of i index of i it means one here one art mail let me just give mahesh babu here Let me write this script in the background too. Okay. Now the expected output here, it should print is maheshbhava at gmail.com. Is it printing maheshbhava at gmail.com here? So you will get the multi-row variable set values in the array format, array of object. Each object is a row. I want second row email address I want. 
Am I able to extract the second row email address? Everyone? Yes, Uday. So if I have to set the multi-row variable set value, you have to construct array something like this one. If you want to set the multi-row variable set values, okay, okay. If you want to construct the multi-row variable set value, you have to construct array of objects. You have to construct array of objects. Then you can set the multi-row variable set values. You can set the multi-row variable set values. Okay, you understand, right? Multi-row variable set. Everyone? Yeah, it's okay. So in the variable set is a set of variables which can be reused in different catalog items. You have single row variable set and multi-row variable set. So in the multi-row variable set, multi-row variable set is also a set of variables and we, we, using which you can add multiple rows, which can be used in different catalog items. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. And we have, if you go to the catalog item, available for, not available for. Available for means, who should see the catalog item? Who should see the catalog item? Guys, there is no concept called ACL for catalog items. Okay, there is no concept called ACL for catalog items. So we have um, available for, available for means who should see the catalog item. By default, this catalog item is visible for everyone. By default, this catalog item is visible for everyone. Okay. This catalog item is visible for everyone by default. If you want to restrict this catalog item visibility, what you can do is you can create a user criteria. User criteria. This user criteria is used. This user criteria is used. to restrict the access to catalog items and uh, knowledge articles. So I am actually, I want to restrict, uh, I want to make it this, make this catalog item visible to only Abel Jutta and Abraham Lincoln. Only Abel. Okay, I have created a user criteria for only able to and Abraham Lincoln. So this user criteria, you can restrict it to okay, this one. Okay. So I can restrict it to users, I, I can restrict it to groups, I can restrict it to roles, I can restrict it to companies, locations, departments. Okay, if you want to write advanced scripting, you can write advanced scripting as well here. You can write any server side scripting here. Okay, if you want to write any advanced scripting, you can write advanced scripting here. Okay. What it is mentioned here. Populate answer is equal to true or false. If the condition is met, keep answer is equal to true. If the condition is not met, keep answer is equal to false. I think we did use answer is equal to true, answer is equal to false in the coming session, in, in the previous sessions. Okay. If you want to match all the conditions, so this, this condition should match. This condition, all the conditions should match means you will select match all. Getting my point? All the conditions should match means 
you have to check match all okay so i am just sure, i am just making it available to only able twitter and abraham lincoln created a user criteria i am going to add that user criteria by clicking on edit here only able and abraham so this catalog item will be visible to only able twitter and abraham lincoln and rest of the people they, they won't be able to see okay and here it is not available for so in the not available for who should not see guys the best practice is either use available for or not available for don't use both of them okay either use available for or not available for available for means who should see the catalog item okay only for these two people it will be visible and for rest of the people it won't be visible okay either use available for or not available for any one if you use both of them okay so here you tell me i am adding here both i am here adding uh, i am adding here only able shooter abraham lincoln so what is happening here in the available for it is actually granting access to able tutor and abraham lincoln in the not available for it is restricting access to able tutor and abraham lincoln then what will happen will impersonate and see i am impersonating as able tutor if able tutor is able to access this catalog item or not we will see so it is telling able tutor doesn't have access to this particular catalog item okay let me end the impersonation let me remove him from the let me remove them from the uh, not available for so that means what did you understand if the if a person has if a person is in the available for and not available for both he will be restricted access he will be restricted access because if a person is in both the places that means end of the day he will be restricted access now i have actually uh, removed the removed the not available for now let me just impersonate as able tutor and let me just refresh this one now he should be able to see this one now he is able to see the catalog item okay getting my point guys what is this available for and not available for in the catalog item yes sir okay and the remaining things will be discussing in more session and also will be discussing workflow topic so we covered uh, acl topic right yes sir then yeah i think by end of this month we will be completed okay yeah and uh, i have one small uh, doubt that uh, regarding today's session Hmm. About today's session, I have the what doubt today. Yes, yes. Yeah, actually, we are able to restrict the users or groups or department wise, right? We have the different options are there. Hmm. Uh. Suppose I mean, uh, and we have the multiple options also. Check box is there for us. Hmm. 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 uh suppose i am giving the username as some uh, abraham and i am adding the group also that uh, group uh, this user is not exist in that group hmm then what will happen i mean uh, that will check for r condition or end condition i didn't understand the question yeah can you open the screen of the ones i mean uh, we mm -hmm. are able to provide the access right users mm. are groups and uh, mm. different things we are able to provide them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can you open that one once i mean yeah. uh, that screen yeah i am able to uh, i have shared the screen yeah yeah can you open the catalog uh, 
Is can you open this one? Hmm. Here I have the different options: users, groups, roles, hmm. and the companies. Different are there. Mm -hmm. Suppose mm -hmm. I am providing the users as uh, provided the different users. Now, as per now, we are selected the Able Tutor mm. and Abraham Lincoln. Mm. And uh, in the roles, I am selecting the ITIL role. Mm. But Able Tutor is not exist in the ITIL role. Mm. We are mm. selecting both. Mm. Then in this scenario, my uh, my doubt is it will che it will check for the roles or it will check for the users or both. So here it is it will it act as R condition or end condition? Which one? Yes, yes. It? it will act as R condition. If you select match all, it will act like end condition. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Ade. Yeah. Okay, guys. Then see you there in tomorrow session. Thank you all.